Hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most common requests on Power BI, which is how do you create a KPI? And there are a thousand and one ways to do it by now, okay? But uh, I've shown you, I think I have like five videos, Power BI Evolve, so there's a new way to do it and I'm going to show you the newest way that I do at least, so you know. Um, let me know in your comment box how you do it and if you have a clever, better, faster way to do it. Okay, so with that said, what we have here is an Orwin data set, the one that we always use, that, and we have just a table, product name, this is a matrix actually. So product name, sales, previous year, and year over year. And what we wanna know is when the sales go down, mark it with a red arrow pointing down. And we want the arrow to be red, a KPI basically. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a new measure and we're going to call it this. I'm going to show you something super weird at the end, but let's do this first. So we're going to call it diffs. I'll tell you why I'm calling it diffs in just a second. And then we go switch. If you don't know switch, this is basically like a NIF. I have a video on another uh, Dax Friday's videos. Check it out, this super neat function. And then we're going to say if year over year is less than zero, then we're going to use Unichar. I have also some videos on Unichar. Go check them out, Unichar, Corval, and you'll find them. And the one that we want to use here is 9650. So this is basically like icons, icons that you can use in Power BI. And so if it is, the year over year is negative, so we have a negative growth, then show us the arrow, otherwise show nothing. I see it very often that you know, in dashboards, people mark both up and down. And I think that it's very hard to see. Pick one. So pick either mark it up or mark down. Don't mark everything. It just makes, it just looks colorful, but nothing else. It's just not useful for the eye. In this case, the North Wind company is going very, very well. So it's just going up, up, up. There is, I found one month where things are going down. That's the one I'm going to show you here. So I want to mark when it goes down. But if it is the other way around, the business is going down, 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 but suddenly you have some products that are doing up, mark up instead. So everything depends on the story you want to tell. Let's push enter. We put it in here and then you'll see the arrow. This is the up arrow, we said down arrow. So we're going to put a 60 there and then it goes down. So now how do we color these? Two ways. Number one, we can do color formatting in here. So we go uh, font color on, uh, do, 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 do. nope, 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 year over year. And we say if it's below zero red, if it is above zero blue. This is blue, it's not red, but otherwise if you have like gray or blacks, put black. I just want a blue. So now you can see that when it's down, it will mark red. As you can see on the totals, it doesn't. This is one of the, um, you know, disadvantages of doing it this way. There is another way though that actually will help us doing that. Let's remove that. Now that's gone, and then we go up here. We go to for field formatting, and then we go here. And then we're going to pick, you have to pick the right column in there, divs. And then we say divs red, and then say apply to total. And as you can see, also the totals become red, which is great, 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 great. Okay. Um, you want it up or green, so no problem. We put it now that we're here, we can put it green. And then you just put this bigger than zero and you put this as a 50 and it goes up. Easy, very, very easy. Okay, so now you know how to do this in an easy way. Another thing I want to show you, you do you see that when you create a matrix, everything is aligned to the Right. Why? Why is everything aligned to the right? I want to have it aligned to the center, obviously. So you have to go and pick each and every one of those and align to center. 
Yeah, I've done it before, maybe it's... Uh, so, center, you see it moves to the center, and then you have to say apply to total, yes, yeah, so that one moves to, and then you have to go sales, and then you have to go do, 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 center, and on. A pain, a pain, and to be honest, uh, I, I would love to do this on the JSON file, I haven't found a way to do it. I don't know how to control. Maybe it's not possible yet. I, I don't know. But I would love to have field formatting. It is formatting. It's JSON custom themes. I would love to have field formatting on the JSON template too. So I can control that and say center for everything because controlling this one by one is an absolute pain. Anyhow. What I wanted to show you, I don't know if it's going to work, but I did this before recording the video and I call the thing diff. And it, I deleted it and then I recreated it and then you remember the color, it was super weird, but let's not make the video longer. Um, now you know how to create up arrows, down arrows. You can do this with flags, you can do this with circles, you can do this with anything. Just go to Unitor, see what formatting there, they have their formatted one way or the other, and then you're done, done, done. Now you know how to create KPIs. Remember, don't put KPIs on every row. It's just, just confusing. Pick one, whatever is important for you. It's like stay, saying the same is important, mark that. Up important, mark that. Or down, not everything. That's all. I, 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 that's all, I promise. Okay. Um, have a great day and I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.